Hey guys, without wasting any time, I'm going to show you how to share your Steam games uh, with a friend or someone. So first of all, you're going to go to Steam in the top left corner, click Settings, let's do it again, then click on the Family section right here, then go under Family Library Sharing and click on Authorize Library Sharing on this computer box. Now it might be a little bit buggy like this, but just click on In-Game and click back and it's going to get sorted out. So under eligible accounts, and this is the table that you will get, are basically the accounts that were logged on to this computer with a different Steam account. So if you want your friend to be able to access your Steam library, then he needs to log on to your computer with his Steam account, log off, and then you log it back into your account, and then you can check him with this tick box right next to his name, and then click OK, and then he will be able to use your Steam library. But what if you want to use each other's Steam library, then he needs to do the same thing for you. So you need to you need to jump on his PC, log with your Steam account onto his PC, and then log off, and then he needs to log in into his account on his PC, and then he needs to go to eligible accounts and check your account. This way you can ensure both of your accounts are sharing their own Steam libraries. Okay, so once you click OK, the games should appear in his Steam library. The only difference is that it will say that it's borrowed by someone else. Also, you still have to download the game as you normally would for the game that you own. So, for example, if I go to Deep Rock Galactica, it says that I borrowed this game from a guy named Capitalini. And now I still have to install the game as I would if I had this game or any other game. No difference. Now that I have shown you how to share the Steam libraries, I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios that you're definitely going to run into while using someone else's library. Scenario number one. Can you play the same game from the same library at the same time? The answer is no, you cannot. You cannot only have one copy of the game and using multiple accounts to use that one copy of the game at the same time. It's just not possible. Scenario number two. Can you play a different game from the same library at the same time? No, you cannot even do that. You, cannot, you can only use someone's Steam library when they're not using it, meaning they're not playing any game in their own Steam library. You can enable a Steam notification in settings if you go here, go to settings, and then you have this show notification when shared libraries become available again, and that's basically about what you can do. And then you can start using it. I mean, their Steam library. However, beware because if your friend logs back into his account and wants to play, you will get a 15 minute disconnect timer after which you will be disconnected from his library. And to be honest, if he's being a very mean person, he can even go into his settings and unauthorize you from which, yeah, you will be immediately disconnected. So this begs the question, when is Steam family sharing even remotely useful? And the answer is, it's complete garbage. It is not useful. However, there are two scenarios in which it can be useful. And that is scenario number one. When your friend is offline and you're playing the game from his library. And scenario number two, when your friend and you are playing from each other's library. So the rule is one Steam library equals one concurrent Steam account using it. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.